This is Fast Food Face Off, and today we're doing the Mother Cluckin' Chicken Challenge. Fast Food Face Off! Fast Food Face Off! From humble beginnings at a gas station in 1929 to a 142-seat restaurant and motel to finalizing the 11 herbs and spices in his proprietary pressure fryers, Colonel Harlan Sanders incorporated KFC in Corbin, Kentucky in 1955. Kentucky Fried Chicken has since become one of the most popular fast food chains in the world, amassing 24,000 restaurants in over 145 countries. Founded by Al Copeland in the New Orleans suburb of Arabi, Louisiana in 1972 and originally named Chicken on the Run, Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen has become a dominant force in the fast food chicken world. After numerous name changes and buying back its own spice blend in 2014, Popeye's has solidified its place in the fast food pantheon. After garnering restaurant success with the Dwarf House in Hatville, Georgia in 1946, founder S. Truett Cathy opened the first Chick-fil-A restaurant in Atlanta in 1967. After becoming synonymous with the fried chicken sandwich and being voted the most polite restaurant chain in 2016, Chick-fil-A has established itself as a favorite amongst fast food fans throughout the U.S. We're doing a who's who of OG chicken sandwiches from Popeyes, KFC, and Chick-fil-A. Let's see who gets the W. So we're gonna get started with KFC. It's the oldest of these three companies. I figured that they should go first, right? First bite. Really good. You get those 11 herbs and spices, right? That, uh, that secret kernels recipe. You get the pickle right away, which definitely balances out the bite. You get a little bit of that sour vinegary note from the pickle. And um, the bun itself is really soft. I think that there's some sort of a, a sauce. Yeah, there's like a, I think it's like a mustard or kind of like a remoulade. And it goes really well with this type of a, a chicken sandwich. The chicken itself is actually really moist too, which if you've ever had a bad chicken sandwich, that's kind of what's off-putting about it. It doesn't have to be one or the other. You can have a crispy bite of chicken and still have it be kind of tender and moist and juicy on the inside. That's ideally, I think, what everybody's looking for in a good chicken sandwich. A funny tidbit about KFC, they tried to translate the finger licking good kind of motto that they had in America overseas. I believe it was either China or Japan. It kind of loosely translated to, we'll eat your fingers. For obvious reasons, that would not go over well with foreign markets. Also another thing, with this chicken sandwich in particular, obviously I haven't had the other ones yet, but you do not miss the cheese on this at all. The sauce that they have that accompanies this kind of gives you that fat salt balance that you'd be looking for with the chicken and um, you don't even really need the cheese at all. Next one is gonna be Chick-fil-A. A lot of people don't know where Chick-fil-A got its start, where it got its name from. It's an Atlanta-based brand. It's kind of a, a staple in the South as far as the, the customer service, especially through the drive-thru. There's a lot of funny YouTube videos on that. Enough of that, let's try the same. The initial impression is you get a little bit more of the pickle flavor. Looking at them, the quality of the pickle itself actually does look a little bit better. It looked like there's some texture, there's some crunch there. The ones that they had on the KFC chicken sandwich, they were a little bit flimsy, wet, oversaturated. The chicken itself is really juicy. They're both probably about as crisp as one another. The flavor profile is obviously gonna be different. You have the 11 herbs and spices with KFC, whereas you just kind of have the traditional buttery, well-made Southern style chicken that you get from Chick-fil-A. The bun, the way that Chick-fil-A does it is that they butter their buns and the sauce element that KFC uses, I feel adds another layer and dimension to the sandwich. According to them, they kind of were the inventors or the originators, at least, of the modern fast food chicken sandwich. Chick-fil-A is kind of credited with inventing it. Last bite, if I'm just kind of making the initial comparison here, the Chick-fil-A sandwich 
is comparable as far as the chicken is concerned. They're both pretty moist. They were able to kind of get that crispy kind of outside exterior and then that moist juicy center. Even though the elements are pretty similar as far as the pickles and then, you know, just a, a good soft bun, the flavor profiles aren't as similar as you would imagine considering that the ingredients are pretty much the same. All right, we got to the last sandwich here, which is Popeyes. With Popeyes, uh, a lot of people don't know that they actually had to pay to get like the Louisiana spice recipe that they had for their companies when they rebranded. It was uh, a few million dollars. Speaking of branding in the modern era, when this came out, I mean, anybody who's anybody remembers how crazy it was when Popeyes made their chicken sandwich is kind of a rebuttal to Chick-fil-A and then definitely um, KFC. I mean, if you're looking at this sandwich, it's definitely a heftier sandwich. I'm curious to see how this tastes. Let's give it a shot. So right off the bat, it's definitely the crispier of the three sandwiches. You get a good crispy coating on the outside. The inside is still juicy. I'm surprised actually that uh, all three of these companies, even though they are fast food chain companies, they, they have an appreciation for keeping the inside of a piece of chicken moist and the outside crispy. Definitely um, the crispiest chicken so far. This is similar to KFC in the sense that they have some kind of a, a mayonnaise based sauce. All three of these companies went with pickles to complement the chicken. It makes sense. You don't really feel like you're missing any one particular element. Maybe lettuce if you were just looking for something a little crisp, a little fresh to kind of maybe balance the sandwich out. But everything else is very similar to KFC. I would say the only major difference from them and KFC is obviously the Colonel's secret blend of, um, of spices and herbs. Even though there are pickles on this sandwich, and they are good pickles, the pickles that were being used in the sandwiches for Chick-fil-A, something about maybe the brine or, or the way that they're, they're kind of kept and stored, they were very crisp, a textural component to the sandwich on top of just the, uh, the flavor profile. Whereas with KFC and with Popeyes, they're there, but you're not getting this overwhelming pickle flavor and your mileage may vary. There's some people that aren't necessarily huge pickle and chicken fans. I feel like if you're going to have it as an element in the sandwich and something that's this simple where it's pretty much chicken, bread, pickles, it needs to be a little bit more of an element and not just an afterthought. As far as all the individual elements, the bread in this was good. Definitely not my favorite bread. The chicken all across the board was surprisingly equal in in texture of the chicken, the moistness, the crispiness. They were all pretty good. But I do understand, you know, the hype behind kind of Popeyes. You know how sometimes, especially in the fast food world, things don't live up to the hype that gets built up around them. This is definitely a very good chicken sandwich and I understand why so many people were going out of their way to wait so long to be able to get it. So we finished her up. Now it's time to see who gets that W, right? Looking at the receipts, the biggest sandwich was the Popeye sandwich. Now, bigger doesn't always mean better, but it was a very good chicken sandwich. It was the cheapest of all three of these sandwiches at $3.99 before tax. That's a good deal. $4 for that sandwich, that's a deal all day long, twice on Sunday, right? The next best bang for your buck as far as value would be, would be Chick-fil-A. It was $4.29 for the sandwich before tax. It was the second biggest sandwich. So still pretty good deal. Coming in last was KFC, who had the smallest sandwich of the three, but the most expensive of them. It was $4.59 before tax. It's not like it's a bad deal. It's just the size of that sandwich for what you're paying. You're, you're you know, starting to dip close to that $5 range for that sandwich. So value wise definitely has to go in, in Popeye's direction. Now, these were all very good, surprisingly so. I, I, I thought 
that there would be like a, a clear loser and, and then I usually kind of have to debate between two. With this, they were all very good. I get why you have so many people that are like diehard fans, especially of these two. I would say probably more so maybe than, than KFC. I understand the hype behind these companies' chicken sandwiches. So let's break it down. Bread, right? That's kind of like the first thing we get as far as the element is concerned. These breads were all relatively similar. They're, they're going kind of for that buttered brioche. Is brioche a word? Oh, no. Sounds like a Mario character. But anyway, yeah, they're going for that buttery bread feel, right? It comes down between these two companies. You definitely get the butter bread feel from Chick-fil-A because they actually butter their bread, right? If I had to nod in one direction this over this, I think I am going to go with Chick-fil-A in the bread department. I, I like the quality of the bread. The butter made sense for it. It was, um, it was good. It was tasty. Next easiest element would probably be the sauce, right? That's like another one of those things that you get kind of right off the bat. So you have butter with Chick-fil-A and then you have some sort of a mayo-based sauce with both of these companies. The chicken itself and the bread itself kind of have a unctuous, fatty, buttery, rich kind of feel to it. And I think that the butter really just kind of only subtly enhances it where it doesn't really add much to it. If I had to go in one direction or the other as far as sauce is concerned, I would say that I like the sauce from Popeye's. There was a good amount of it on the sandwich, and uh, there was a good flavor to it. In the pickle department, it's a no-brainer. It has to go to Chick-fil-A. Now, the hardest of these three is the chicken, right? I mean, it's a chicken sandwich. Does the word duh mean anything to you? I held that one out for, uh, for last for a reason because they were surprisingly all very good. I would say, texturally, they were all pretty similar, right? They all had a good crisp. They all had a good crunch, even though... Surprisingly so, the only company that advertises itself as like a crispy chicken sandwich is KFC. They were all very tender on the inside. They were not dried out. They were all very close texturally. If I have to give a nod in one direction, surprisingly so, I'm going with KFC. And the irony is, is that I'm actually not a huge fan of, uh, of KFC's chicken. The 11 herbs and spices in this, right? You, you, you don't factor into it. It sounds like a gimmicky kind of thing. It just complements the simplicity that is a pickle sauce chicken sandwich very well. So that being said, who's the winner here? We got really good flavor of chicken. We have really good pickles. We have really good sauce. And then... The value too that factors into it. I would say, me personally, again, I always have to say your mileage may vary because some of this does come down to preference. If if I'm driving and these three companies are back to back to back, uh, and I only have one option, I think I'm gonna go with KFC here, which is surprising. I wouldn't have thought out of these three companies, especially in the sandwich department, that KFC would have been as good as it is. The bread is soft. It is uh, buttery, the chicken is crisp, and it is tender. The seasoning works well with the mayo-based sauce that they have, and uh, you get enough of the flavor of pickles. Uh, granted, the texture really isn't that great. I would say a close second, though, in my opinion, would probably be Popeye's. The size of that chicken sandwich, the quality of that chicken sandwich for what you're getting for the price, it doesn't surprise me why this one uh, did as well as it did. And what does surprise me is that even though Chick-fil-A makes a very good chicken sandwich, it just seemed to be a little lackluster in comparison to what these other companies are doing, right? I know it seems silly and maybe it doesn't always factor in, especially with fast food and you know people kind of just chalking it up to bad service. Shout out to all of these companies. They just have really, really good dialed in customer service, not even for fast food companies, but just, I guess, maybe locally to me or just the, the chain in general. The experiences were all very good. Also, we're going to have the calorie count up here somewhere for you guys. It was pretty similar. Very, uh, very worth it in the calorie department for what you get with these sandwiches. Thanks again for watching the video, guys. We always appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you can, give us a like. Head on over to Instagram and give us a follow so that you guys can stay tuned for what we have planned for the next few weeks. And as always here on Fast Food Face Off, if you are what you eat, always remember to eat amazing.